Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. As many of you know, the vehicle content featured on the channel thus far has mainly revolved around the years of 2011 up until 2013, with the ever-present possibility of finding something not specifically related to that set of years from time to time. Well, again, we have found another prime example of that situation today, in the form of this absolutely beautiful yet quite uncommon 2007 BMW Z4 M Roadster. Now our review today has brought us here to the pre-owned department here at DFW Audi, formerly known as Ballard and Audi, located here in the heart of Euless, Texas. And now, with that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the M Roadster, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple features, technologies, and creature comforts of this vehicle's exterior and interior. And so, bearing all that new information in mind, let's go ahead and climb aboard and we'll check it out. To begin with, this particular example today wears the black sapphire metallic exterior. Combined with a power retracting black cloth convertible top. And beautifully accenting this deep black metallic exterior. This particular example's interior has been fully appointed in the light Sepang bronze extended leather interior. This particular example is also the close ratio six-speed manual transmission. It's got a little over 51,846 miles on it. Absolutely butter smooth sounding performance engine. The steering wheel is actually very thick, an extremely tight power assisted steering, very much one of those point and shoot style steering systems where basically you turn the wheel and no matter where you turn it, there's basically no spring back in the steering whatsoever. Nice and thickly padded all the way around, very heavy grip extensions, very angular in design. And also the signature BMW M Motorsport tricolor stitching going around the entire interior rim of the steering wheel. The BMW M Roadster and M Coupe were available with two selectable transmissions. This particular example, as I said, comes with the standard six speed close ratio manual transmission. Push over and then push over harder to go into reverse. And the second available transmission was BMW's six-speed electronically controlled SMG or sequential manual gearbox. Basically, it acts pretty much the same as a manual transmission, whereas you could click it over and push up or down to select the gears, have it in the middle for neutral, or push all the way over and up like this one for reverse. Very simplistic and pretty much acted the same way as a manual transmission and still give pretty much the exact same amount of performance. Both the driver and passenger windows are automatic in both directions. Now whereas the standard Z4 came with an available 2.8 liter inline 6 cylinder or an available 3 liter inline 6 cylinder motor, the M Motorsport version came with a little bit of a higher grade, if you will. It basically used the exact same 3.2 liter double overhead cam 24 valve inline 6 cylinder motor that you would find in the E46 generation BMW M3. This means you get a whopping 330 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. 
Given the fact that this car weighs a lot lighter than the M3, 0-60 to 60 miles an hour came up in a mind-numbing 4.7 seconds at a top speed of electronically limited 155 miles per hour. Even so, with the bigger engine, the fuel economy did suffer a little bit, and it only scored an average on premium unleaded gasoline of 16 miles per gallon city and 24 miles per gallon highway. All the same, however, it is a beautiful addition and, like I said, quite uncommon version of a beautiful power plant and a beautiful vehicle coming from BMW's motorsport division. And now let's see about a good couple of revs of that M3 power plant and see what kind of soundtrack it produces. Absolutely wonderful sound from that inline six cylinder. It almost makes it sound like you're in one of BMW's touring cars, as a matter of fact. Altogether, though, an absolutely phenomenal sounding motor. And with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. You do have the option of them being automatic, as well as turn on the hazard lights, as usual. And with all that being done, let's take this opportunity to explore the exterior of the M Roadster. The M Roadster became available with BMW Xenon High Intensity Discharge Projector Headlights, complete with BMW signature Corona rings accenting the main and high beams. Standard BMW Motorsport Division body kit, extending the front faces a little bit lower. As you can see, lowers the front end of the car and gives it a little bit more of an aggressive stance. Standard BMW kidney style grills. And of course, to handle all that power and put it down to the ground, this particular Z4M Roadster runs on a specific set of M-designed five-spoke aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in Continental Performance tires, measuring 225-40ZR in the front and a pretty good size 255-40ZR in the rear. Very unique BMW corner signals. Automatic rain sensing wipers. As I said, power retracting cloth convertible top. Standard dual exhaust with quad aluminum exhaust tips. Standard LED third brake light. For those of you who those of you who actually haven't seen one of these M Roadsters or a Z4 in general, 
It's actually quite a small car for its size. It's an absolutely beautiful looking convertible. M3 performance combined with the looks of a Z4 and the lightweight nature of the same car. Pretty much a potential brutal uh, combination. And now that we've had a good look around the exterior of this M Roadster, let's take a better look at the interior. As I said, this particular example's interior has been fully appointed in the light Sepang bronze extended leather interior. Fully adjustable pa passenger and driver's seat with three person memory seating. Standard polished M Motorsport side sill plates. And most of your power conveniences are actually located here on the door. You have automatic one touch driver and passenger windows. Your power mirror controls are located here. And your power door locks are actually located right next to the hazard switches you'll see here in a second. But before we do anything else, let's actually go ahead and drop the convertible top. Let you get a good idea of how this vehicle looks with the top down. Go ahead and turn those off. Make sure everything's undone. Your top button is located down here. Very speedy top down process. As you can see, top up and top down. Give you a quick shot of it from the exterior. You can see these very thick roll bars hidden just above the seats. Let you see a little bit more of the interior from the outside of it. Let's go ahead and put the top back up. One of the great things about this particular top is the fact that you don't actually have to unlatch anything. You just simply push the button, it unlatches, and away it goes. Just roll up the windows, and you're already, do already done. Now some of the interior styling cues of this M uh, Roadster you can actually see differ quite a bit from that of the normal Z4. For instance, like I said, the specific M design steering wheel, again with the tricolor stitching around the interior rim, but also things like the gauge cluster. As you can see, not only does the speedometer go a lot higher, but the actual needle, instead of being a solid silver, actually has a uh, red line going up the center. Also, you can see over here, the specific sort of M3 style um, electronic red line, whereas instead of the needle going all the way up over and just having a sort of painted on red line right there, as you saw when the vehicle was powered up, this one does have the optional navigation system. You can just select through different things with the, uh, you can actually just adjust the screen, excuse me, through this up and down button, or just close it all together. Very simplistic. Down here, you've got your different radio controls and such. Now is the time to defend your yard with Ortho Bug Be Gone Max Lawn and Garden Insect Killer Ready to Spray. Ortho Bug Be Gone kills mosquitoes that may transmit the West Nile virus and keeps this exclusive concept for f
There we go. Beautiful sounding stereo system. And of course, you've got your single disc CD player right here in the dash. Down below, you've got a single zone climate control system. Temperature controls are over here on the right. Introduce maximum air conditioning. In the center here is your different fan controls. You got your air conditioning recycling, ma uh, maximum AC. Also, automatic air conditioning, front and rear defrost. Your different climate zones. Very simplistic to use. And down below here, you've actually got your heated seats. They are three stage. This is, as I said, top up, top down. Right here is your uh, stability control, traction control. Over here, passenger heated seat. And then of course, in just about every sports car, you do have the sport button. Simply press that. Changes a few of your throttle timing settings and such, and allows you to really explore this car's full potential. And as I mentioned down here by the hazard switch, you actually have your door lock switch. Simple as that. Fully leather wrapped e-brake, the leather wrapped e-brake handle. Separate storage compartment with DVD for GPS navigation. Nothing really back up here. All around a real prime example of what BMW calls the ultimate driving machine. M3 performance with the looks of a Z4 convertible, all the usefulness and wind in your hair drive of a convertible, again with the exhilaration of the M3 power plant up front. Wonderful. And with all that in mind, let's go ahead and turn up the engine. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the rest of the Z4M Roadster. You can go ahead and pop the trunk actually down here. Simple as that. Now being a convertible, you will sacrifice quite a bit on trunk space. As you can see, there's pretty much not a whole lot to go around back here. Got your signature Z4 embroidered floor mats. Up here is where the convertible top actually stows away. And of course you've got your tire repair kit and all your BMW toolkit and such. One of the cool things about this BMW, and I think this is it, is you actually pull on this little lever here, and this whole front cushion will actually extend outwards. See? Just giving you a little bit more leg room for those of you who may be smaller and do wish to actually sit up a little further. Give you a quick seat in the passenger side just to show you how small this car really is, or at least how small the interior is. You can see I can still stretch out quite comfortably. I'm six foot one inches tall and this car fits me no problem. Even with the little leg thing out, gives you a lot nicer rest for your legs. And it's also got this sort of carbon fiber imprint across the dashboard. Very nice. All in all, another beautiful example of what BMW calls their ultimate driving machine. So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this look at a 2007 BMW Z4 M Roadster. If you wish to contact DFW Audi about this particular vehicle or any of the others that you may have seen in the background of this video, please feel free to do so at dfwaudi.com or come visit their showroom off of Interstate 183 in Euless, Texas. Till then viewers, have a great day. See you guys later.